What is up, I Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today I want to take this into a different route because what has been discovered and what they were able to synthesize is groundbreaking. And I want to go ahead and talk about a possible move towards a cure for cancer. Let's go ahead and break that down in this video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm not going to bog you down with my jump rope, but if you want it, only $16.50. You can click on the top right-hand corner or down in the description box below. And of course, as always, guys, thank you for your support. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the largest science specialized private research university in Japan has gone above and beyond. Tokyo University of Science has made a breakthrough in the fight against cancer now no this has nothing to do with you know what you eat or intermittent fasting or anything like that just letting you know ahead of time this video is simply touching on the magnificent efforts of kaoji kuramochi and colleagues and what they were able to do now one of the major issues when it comes to uh cancer is what you need to do to get rid of the cancer many times you have to go to chemo if you're in high stage like stage four because you have no choice you have to try to reduce the growth of the cancer cells or you have to try to kill the cancer cells as much as you can but there are complications and side effects that come with chemotherapy taking that chemotherapy medication can cause so much complications and even when someone is taking chemotherapy even family members have to be careful because it's that damaging so their findings was published in October of this year in the ACS Omega publication now they're not getting so much publicity because we're in the midst of a pandemic and everyone's focus is on the cure for this pandemic everyone is focusing on getting there and because of that something as novel and as noble as the steps towards the cure for cancer is not getting the publicity that it deserves. So that's why I'm making a video on my platform because it, want, it needs the recognition and hopefully other YouTubers look into this study to see how great of an achievement it is for this Japanese university. So the main compounds that are used are something called the phenazines. These are ring structures uh, with two or more elements inside of it and they have a variety of properties but for example the cytotoxicity inside of them can help kill cells and it targets uh, generally cancer cells but they tend to also target other cells as well although the good thing is that our human cells the the, the normal cells replicate very very quickly uh, so there there's that combative element with our human cells but they're still damaging and attacking the cells in our body, making the entire process a nightmare. So basically over 6,000 of these phenazines can be synthesized. And one of them is the phenazinones. And this is the one, this is the specific one that they try to synthesize because of the cytotoxicity in it that is very effective at killing cancer cells. They do things like chlorination or oxidative condensation where they use uh, water molecules to kind of separate the compounds and synthesize those different elements to try to get that cytotoxicity. But what they were able to do, what this group of people were able to pull off, they were able to take those organic compounds to be able to synthesize WS9659B. And this is so groundbreaking that it is actually a legitimate step forward towards a cure for cancer. No one before this group of scientists were ever able to pull this off. The chemotherapy compounds that we have were the best we can do. Hurt the cells, but also hurt you. Now is really hurt the cells and reduces effects on the normal cells this is a magnificent achievement and now they're moving forward with the animal trials as they should to try to see how this reacts in the body 
but I am super proud of humanity for being able to pull things like this off. One of the biggest running memes of all time is that when something seems that you cannot do it, that it is impossible, they say, what are you trying to do? Cure cancer? And in this instance, they're making the impossible seem very possible. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to the publication of the ACS Omega of the paper uh, where they explain everything in detail. It is very high in scientific terminology, so I do caution your read, but if you want to go ahead and take a look at it for yourself, I will have that link below for your reading pleasure. If you can muster all the scientific jargon, you're reading an absolute gold mine of a scientific finding. And hopefully when this is all said and done, Kaoji Kuramochi can be awarded the Nobel Prize. I hope this video was informative for you guys. And as always, I want to thank my patrons for my Patreon. I'm going to go ahead and put their names right up here. as always guys i'll see you on sunday for another faq peace